Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ariel. I am recently a new graduate nurse. I went to Rasmussen College for nursing. Just like to share my experiences, give you guys some tips and tricks and all that type of stuff and how it was for me. So if you are new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also make sure you hit that little notification, that way you get notified whenever I do upload a video. So you're not sitting here looking like, this video is a week old, when did Ariel upload this? You know what I mean? You don't wanna, you don't wanna do that, so. <laughs> and make sure that you hit this like button if you like this video and make sure you comment down below let me know what other videos you guys want to see i definitely have like a list of all the videos that i want to do for sure for sure i want to revamp my channel get stuff going get stuff popping you know what i mean because i'm an rn well not yet once i pass my NCLEX, i'm still waiting for my sit pass so yes so today's video i'm going to be talking about everybody's favorite thing ATI. Who does not love ATI? ATI is just, it's like fire. Like, who doesn't love ATI? Nobody loves ATI. Nobody. Um, <laughs> it is annoying. They are stressful. It is, it's just crazy, okay? I went to Rasmussen College, as you guys know, and if you don't know now, you do know. So we uh, practice ATI very heavily in my program. So ATI was very, 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 very much integrated into our program. So today I'm gonna talk about how to pass your ATIs, um, how to get them done, and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. All right, so first off, let me start by saying that I had no clue what ATI was when I first started nursing school. I remember I was in my nutrition course and they told us that we had an ATI to take and that it was like 60 questions, a test, whatever. That's all that I knew about it after I took nutrition. And mind you, this is like my first quarter, second quarter of school. And it was like a bunch of freaking questions that I didn't even know the answers to, a bunch of stuff. Like, I had no clue, and most of us, most of my uh, cohort had no clue what ATI was. Until literally, until like, what, our second to last quarter, where they tell us that you have all these ATIs to pass. So basically, ATIs are tests that um, you have to take, at least in my program, we had to take, and we needed to get level twos on all of these tests. And what it means for a level two is just the proficiency level of how well you know this material so you need to take one for mental health you need to take one for fundamentals um for pharmacology um for nutrition and for med surge and leadership and then you have to take a comprehensive predictor and that one basically tells you how likely you are to pass the NCLEX now all of these ATIs have different ranges, like different percentages that you need to get in order to get a level two. So like for pharmacology, I think it's a 71% you need in order to get a level two or for med surge, it's like 75, I don't know, whatever. But each individual test or ATI has a different percentage in order for you to reach your level two. In, in my college, we took they didn't really stress it. So it's it's very it was very annoying. So if you do go to Rasmussen College and you're just starting out or whatever the case may be, this is what I tell everybody and this is what me and my friends tell everybody, especially the classes who were behind us, get your ATIs done as soon as possible because I believe you have about like seven or eight ATIs to do. Get them done as soon as possible because they are not easy. ATI is hard and when you're in your last quarter and you have all this work to do and you still need to take all your ATIs it's not good so if you do go to Rasmussen or a college that does heavily um, practice ATI make sure that you get them done as soon as possible if I was a new as if I was a nursing student right now I'd be like all right let me try and get all my level let me get my level twos and all my ATIs that way when I get to my last semester I have no ATIs to take besides the ones that I need for the classes that I'm in which would be med surge and leadership and then your comp predictor so my first ATI that I ever took was nutrition and I bombed it I didn't know anything about ATI I bombed that nutrition exam I think I got like a 40 percent like I was like what the heck like everybody bombed that and then the next one was pharmacology 
and I bombed that one because I really didn't know about ATI and I didn't really know how to study for ATI. So this is why we're here. My first tip, if you know people who have already taken these ATIs, what I suggest you do is get their reports. After you take an ATI, um, a, a report pops out of what level you got and then something pops out on the bottom telling you what it is that you need to review. Print that out. Now, if you know people who have already taken them, get theirs as well because not everybody is gonna have the same thing on their ATI that they need to improve on and work on. So what I'm saying is, if you're taking pharmacology ATI, you may have a lot of stuff about digoxin, but then this next person might have a lot of stuff about bronchodilators. Um, so make sure that you get reports from other people. If you know people who are ahead of you in, co in, in cohorts, make, see if you can get their reports. That is what I do, that is what I've been doing mostly. Like my girls, I always, always, always get their ATIs if I'm about to take an ATI or anybody in my cohorts that I can get. And I try to get the report for the retake that I'm taking. Okay, so this is my ATI page. I don't know if you can see, but here is my proctor that I just took, my child proctor. I got a 75, so I'm going to click on it, right? And it's going to pop up with this. And this is my report. It tells you what level you got. So I got a level two. I don't know if you guys can see it. I got a level two. So then up here, you're going to download your report. And I don't know if it lets me download it. It does. So this is what it looks like. And then this is the stuff that you kind of, you know, get. So antibiotics affecting protein synthesis blah, blah, blah. And then it'll tell you the chapter at the bottom. So in your book, you'll go to that chapter and then you'll look for things about administration of aminoglycans. So that's what I mean when I talk about download your report or get somebody else's report. That is exactly what I mean right there. That gives you all the information that you need in order to pass that ATI. Now, Erasmus in college in your last quarter, um, is when you have capstone and capstone is basically where you take all your ATIs and you can only take one ATI a week Until you pass that ATI with a level two. So if I take farm on Monday, right? And I don't pass it with a level two. I can't retake until the following week, which is stupid But nonetheless, whatever Now if you take farm and you do pass on Monday, you can go ahead and take again If they have a proctor, you can take another one on Friday that's usually how it works. Um, so this is why I say that you need to make sure that you get them done because time runs out very quickly. And if you don't know, I am still an extended incomplete because I still have ATI proctors to finish. Given I only have two left, I'm taking farm tomorrow, which I intend to pass. And then I need to pass my comp predictor, which I will be taking next week. But all my other ones I've already passed. So if you do not complete all your ATIs before you finish your week 11 in your last quarter, you will be an extended and complete. And basically what that means is that you will get an I for your capstone course until you finish all your ATIs with a level two and you have only until week 11 of the next quarter. So you only have 11 weeks. If you do not pass all your ATIs in that 11 weeks, you will fail the course and you will need to take it again. Now, this is why I'm saying get them done quickly. So when you are studying for your ATIs, if you are taking it for the first time, um, which you probably shouldn't be if you're in capstone, you wouldn't be taking any of the ATIs for the first time because they kind of correlate with the courses that you're in. Like in adult one, you'll take the fundamentals ATI. In mental health, you'll take mental health. In your maternal class, you'll take maternal and you will take child. Um, I suggest getting the ATI books. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. And I suggest getting those. Now, what I have is the ATI app. Um, it's called ATI Reader. And this is it right here. And this basically what it is, is AT, all the ATI books on your phone, which I like better. So you just put in your information, it'll load up and then you have all your books right here. Um, I love this. Somebody told me about this like literally when I was just about finishing school, but I love this because let's go into farm. One, it keeps it updated. So you're not looking at an old textbook. 
two you can go up here to this corner i don't give you like all the units and the index and all that good stuff like that and you can go in you can see cardiac rhythms and basically has all the information in there for you i like using this as opposed to the book because it is much easier because when you print out the reports it's going to tell you a specific category that you need to go to and it's going to tell you the page of that ca of that category so if it's about that Jackson, it'll say chapter 45. so you go to chapter 45 in here and then you can look it up and find um digoxin like chapter 45 here is antibiotics you'll click on it and then you'll read through until you kind of find the information that you need from the report um that is what works best for me you can always buy the books i can buy them you have packs on amazon that you can get it from and you can get them for super cheap so i will definitely link them down below if you do need them on your on the ati website it does have the books integrated on there as well um but i just like this way better it's so much easier so i would suggest downloading the app and like i said it is again it's called um ati reader very very helpful so i'm about to take an ati tomorrow what do i do i usually um i'm gonna be honest i usually st study the night before i ask all my friends i get their reports usually i'll do about two reports per ati so um uh if say i'm taking i'm taking retake one for farm tomorrow so I, I asked my friends can i get your report so two of my friends gave me their reports for retake one that way it has all the same information that i'm gonna have on my test because sometimes the, re the different retakes have different things on them so i'll go through it and I'll write out everything. Now, if you want to go the extra mile and do other things, if you want to go on ATI and do practice tests, you can do that. But that is what works best for me, and that is what I do. Now, you do have a lot of ATI things to do in school. I have, like, lesson contents and all that stuff. When you do get ATIs at the beginning of the quarter, I suggest you get them all done out of the way because they are a pain in the butt. Sometimes you got to look at, you know, videos and stuff. And what I used to do was whenever I got my syllabus or my agenda and I would see a bunch of ATIs that I needed to do, that I needed to go over, I would get it done immediately. I would take a day, I would do all my ATIs, cross them off my list. That way that gives me less work that I need to worry about while i am in this course um if you are taking your atis definitely study like i said try to get the reports from other people if not go in your book and read if you're taking it for the first time um honestly when i took all of mine for the first time i didn't i didn't study anything and that's probably why i didn't pass them <laughs> If you are taking it for the first time, honestly, ATI is very difficult. So what I would do if you're taking a test for the first time, if your teachers uploaded like practice questions or there's practice tests, like you, which you do have, um, you do have practice tests on ATI, like um, for child, you have child practice A and B. I would suggest that you do those um, and actually do them. Don't go on Quizlet and look up the answers and then just turn it in because you need it for a grade, but actually do it because it is going to help you a little bit. Like for my leadership one, it, it did help a little bit. Um, so before you take an ATI, and if it's your first time, go on your ATI and go do the practice test. That should help you. If you don't pass it with a level two, don't worry about it. You know, try not to stress it, but um get reports from people who have already taken whichever retake you're about to take that is the best advice that i have for you guys ati is highly annoying i know and it is stressful but you will get through it um get them done as soon as possible i am telling you because you don't want to be like me still doing your atis and there's actually people from my cohort that still have like all of them to do all of them so make sure you study make sure you get your level twos get them done I hope this video helped you guys make sure you let me know any other videos that you guys want to see i hope this video was informative for you guys for you students that are doing it right now um and yeah that's it until the next one guys